All right, let's take a look at this problem here. A solution is prepared from some nickel nitrate, ammonia, dissolved in water. We want to know what's the concentration of free nickel ions. So let's write out an equilibrium for this reaction. Now, um, nickel forms a hexa-ammonium complex. And if I look up the value of the uh, formation constant here, it's 5.5 .5 times 10 to the 8th. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? Um, we are starting out with um, 0 0.001 moles of nickel, 0 0.5 moles of ammonia, and dissolving it in um, water. So let's go ahead and um, see what the limiting reactant is. You can see how this quantity here is extremely small in comparison to ammonia. So this is um, the steps to take here are to first assume that this reaction goes all the way to the right and then back it off by solving the ice table for an equilibrium. So we want to um, take away that, add the product. So all of that nickel goes away, right? And forms, you know, nickel hexa ammonium complex. Now, six times this value is 0 0.006, okay? So a small amount of the ammonia is going to dec um, be reacted, and we get a value of 0 0.494, okay? All right, so initially, we're going to pretend like we have these amounts here. Um, the change, we're going to have plus x, plus 6x here, and minus x. And at equilibrium, we're going to have x. We're, of course, trying to solve that because they're asking us what is the concentration of the nickel two ions. And here, we're going to have 0.494 plus 6x, okay? And here, 0 0.001 minus x. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and set up the uh, equation here. Kf for this equilibrium process, products over reactants. So we have the nickel coordination complex over nickel ion over ammonia to the sixth power. So if we substitute in the values here, we get 5.5 .5 times 10 to the eighth is equal to nickel is x, and this is 0 0.4 nine four plus six x okay now because the equilibrium constant is so large it has a value there of one, um, 500 million that's a very large equilibrium constant which means that the right side of this equation is very favored so if it moves left to reach equilibrium it's going to be extremely small x is almost zero So we're assuming x is very small, so this is going to be about equal to 
um, you can see that, um, oh, I forgot to put the sixth power here. Let's put that sixth power here. Okay. And what I get here is x is equal to 1.95 times 10 to the 9th. Okay? Oh, that's wrong. x is supposed to be small, not this humongous number. So let's go back to the uh, drawing board here. Double check what we've done. I see what I've done. I've uh, messed up my algebra. Okay? So this part's correct. We just need to solve for x correctly. Let's switch to a uh, red pen here. Okay, so x, I'm going to move that up here and then move this down there. So x will be equal to 0, 0, 001 divided by 5.5 .5 times 10 to the 8th on the bottom. And we've got our 0.494 to the 6th power. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Now what I get from this is 1.25 times 10 to the minus uh, 10. Okay. And that's going to be a more reasonable answer. X indeed is very small, so that's why we could make these assumptions over here where I'm circling that these terms here are pretty much zero. Okay. So that right there is the concentration of nickel ion. and aqueous nickel is bound to uh, six water molecules. That's why it's written in that funny way. All right, sorry for the hiccup there at the end, but uh, I fixed